Yeah, I Will Possess Your Heart was your first single, the new album. Mm -hmm. Eight minutes long, if mm -hmm. not longer. <laughs> what was the, well, what was first? Was it the, the four minute intro or the, the song that comes after? Uh, well, I mean, I, I, kinda, I, wrote, I brought the song to the band kind of in the form that it exists from when the vocals come in through the end. And, you know, the idea was just spawn to, you know, just to kind of, you know, Nick came up with this great bass line and we were just kind of like, well, let's just kind of play it and build it and kind of see what happens. And, and you know, I think that recording is the fourth take that we played it together from start to finish. We're just, you know, we just kind of let it build and unfold and, and, uh, and kind of let it breathe in the studio and that's kind of how it turned out. But why? Because it, it started as a, just a small song? Yeah, I mean, well, it just, you know, I, I think conceptually, you know, the idea of having this kind of, really insistent kind of bass line and kind of repeating series of, of uh, melodies kind of, you know, it reinforced this, the theme of obsession in the song. So, so yeah. you know, just I think, it, I think it totally made sense for the song. Yeah, okay. But uh, is it that it got, while well, you were practicing it, it got longer and longer and longer? Right, yeah. I mean, yeah. we had to cut a minute and a half out. It was actually like <laughs> 10 minutes long. We had to cut a minute and a half yeah. out. Okay. So. Why did you cut it out then? <laughs> uh, you know, it was just a little too much. It, the song had peaked. We needed to kind of bring it, we needed to kind of cut it down, so. Yeah, yeah okay. And, um, yeah, yeah, the lyrics, you, you, you wrote the lyrics? And yeah, I mean, I just, you know, I, I, I kind of wanted to, I, I was kind of thinking about this idea of having, that I think that one of the, kind of the nature of obsession and of, one of the, one of the is that, you know, people don't, um, well, a lot of times people don't realize what, how they're, that they're acting inappropriately when they you know, start obsessing over somebody or really start really falling for somebody. And, you know, I kind of, uh, I just kind of had this image in my mind of somebody who just kind of went out of their way to kind of stroll by the, you know, the residence of one of somebody they desired on every day and just how, you know, you know, you know I, it, on the surface it seems like kind of just a relatively kind of harmless kind of thing to do, but I think if you were to ever mention that you were doing it to somebody, I think they'd, you know, they'd kind of take, take it as like, well, that's kind of creepy that you do that, you know. And, you know, but I think there's something kind of sweet about like, yeah, you look at, you look at somebody's window and you kind of, God, I would like to see what the world looked like, looks like from that person's window. And when it's said that way, it sounds a lot, you know, kind of more tender than I think it is in the song, but it's the same sentiment, you know, it's just a matter of how it's presented. Yeah, so it's more or less, you wrote it from the, <clears throat> From the perspective of uh, that person who thinks sure. who thinks he's he's pretty normal, yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, and it's pretty obsessive. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, and uh, also the the, um, the music, that intro. Did you, mm -hmm. did you have exact something in mind or a musical inspiration when you when no, you were actually, playing that? I mean, you know, we referenced a lot of other bands and stuff in the sort of history of music that have made longer like longer songs yeah, out of stuff I, I, and I think early on like Chris had said something like it was our can jam or something like that but I mean I think while we were sort of arranging the song we never really brought any of that stuff up I think it was only in, in hindsight that we kind of listened to it and applied it you know like oh it's kind of like this but I mean while we were while we were arranging the song while we were playing it you know like Ben said it was the fourth pass that we we actually committed to the record and that was the, the version that you hear now uh, it was just a matter of just playing it because it felt great and you know it's it sort of <clears throat> the song just kind of it needed to be that way you know when it, it didn't really it felt anytime we tried to play it shorter it felt like we wanted to keep going longer and like Ben said I think if anything we made it too long when we recorded it and we had to shave a little bit out to kind of really there's a fine line between when you know the, the obsession thing really was out of balance you know and I think that it conceptually works really well at that length you know um, kind of builds the times I've heard the radio edit of the song, when it's just the shortened vocal, it works. It's a great version of the song, but it's something about the setup for that lyric just needed that needs that other sort of mirror at the beginning of that intro. I think that mm -hmm. for, to really drive the the effectiveness home. With it. 